Hi guys! Sa video na to ay ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano ang subtraction of integers. So sa subtraction of integers, mahalaga na alam na natin ang rules kung paano ang mag-add ng integers. Dahil ang subtraction at addition of integers have almost the same rules. It's just that sa subtraction of integers ay may isa pa tayong process na gagawin bago tayo mag-proceed sa addition rules of integers. So, kung hindi nyo pa napapanood yung video ko sa addition rule of integers, ay maaari nyo muna itong panoorin upang mas mapadali ang pag-intindi ninyo sa subtraction of integers. So, as a recap, alam na natin na ang integers ay binubuo ng negative, zero, at positive numbers. So, sa number line, uh, Ito ang 0. Nasa gitna siya ng positive at negative numbers. So, ang 0 ay hindi positive at hindi rin negative. Doon naman sa right side ng 0, doon natin makikita yung mga counting numbers o yung positive numbers. At doon sa left, portion naman ng 0 yun yung mga negative counting numbers at all in all yung negative counting numbers 0 at yung counting numbers yun yung integers so proceed tayo ngayon sa rules ng subtraction of integers. So, the first rule is change the sign of the subtrahend to its opposite. And the second rule, change the minus sign to addition sign and follow the addition rules for adding integers. So, pakita natin by solving some examples. So, number one, we have positive 5 minus positive 8. So, sabi sa first rule, change the sign of the subtrahend to its opposite. When we say subtrahend, ito yung uh, number na pagkatapos ng minus sign. So, in this part, 8 ang ating subtrahend. So, yun yung number after ng minus sign. So, siya yung number sa right side. So, sabi, ito change daw natin yung sign nung subtrahend sa opposite niya. So, kung meron tayong positive 8 dito, as we all know, when we don't put a uh, uh, sign in uh, before a number, it automatically means that it is positive, right? So, we can write it as that. So, sabi, to change daw natin yung sign niya sa opposite. So, ito ay magiging negative 8. So, magiging 5 minus, since positive 8 siya, magiging negative 8, as the rule number 1 says. And then, change the minus sign to addition sign and follow the addition rules for integers. So, after natin ma-change yung sign nung subtrahend to its opposite, it change naman daw natin yung minus sign sa positive. So, gagawin natin siyang 5. So, kung minus daw, magiging addition sign. So, plus, copy pa rin yung negative 8. So, now, mapapansin nyo na nagbumalik na tayo sa addition of integers. Wherein, pwede na natin i-apply yung rules natin sa addition of integers. Kasi, meron lang tayong positive 5 plus negative 8. At ang rules, kapag unlike signs, so, subtract natin yung maliit na absolute value dun sa malaki. So, ano ba ang absolute value ng 5? 5, right? Absolute value ng negative 8? 8. So, 8 minus 5 is equal to 3. And then, sa final answer, kokopyahin natin yung sign ng number na may mas mataas na absolute value which is 8 
At ano ba yung sign ng 8? Negative. So therefore, our final answer is negative 3. So, proceed tayo sa example 2. This time, we have negative 4 minus 7. So again, itong 7 ay positive, right? Don't forget. Minsan kasi nalilito yung iba, minus 7. Naisip nila na yung minus, ay yun yung sign ng 7. Which is wrong. Yung minus, yun yung indicator na nagsusubtract tayo. At yung 7, automatic positive 7 siya. So, again, as a rule, copy the first number and make the uh, subtrahend sign to become opposite, right? So, magiging negative 7. And then, gawin na nating addition. So, negative 4 plus negative 7. So, now, let's apply now the addition rule. So, kapag same sign sila, parang negative right, ia-add lang natin yung absolute value. So, absolute value ng negative 4 is 4. Absolute value ng negative 7 is 7. So, 4 plus 7 is equals to 11. And then, since they are both negative, copy lang natin yung sign sa final answer na negative. So, our final answer is negative 11. Now, proceed tayo sa number 3. We have positive 6 minus negative 2. So, again, follow lang natin yung rules. Copy the first number, which is 6, minus, change the sign of the subtrahend right sa magiging positive 2. And then, magiging 6 plus positive 2. 6 plus positive 2. So, 6 plus 2 is 8, right? And they are both positive, so our final answer is positive 8. Last example, negative 9 minus negative 1. So, copy negative 9 minus change the sign of the subtrahend so negative 1 becomes positive 1 and then negative 9 gagawin natin plus sign yung minus sign so negative 9 plus positive 1 so unlike sign sila so get natin yung absolute value ng negative 9 is 9 absolute value ng positive 1 is 1 and then subtract so 9 minus 1 is Eight. But then the sign, the number 9 is bigger than positive 1, right? So, and its sign is negative. So, paulong natin yung negative sign sa final answer.